Welcome back to the channel, everyone. Today, we're going to be covering the next super troop coming to Clash of Clans. Let's go ahead and find out what it is. All right, so we're going to be finding out the next Super Troop coming in the spring update. If you guys haven't checked out the first video of the Super Barbarian, I'll go ahead and post it here. The link will be down in the description of the video and also in the little i card at the top. And if you enjoy these videos of the sneak peeks, make sure you guys go and hit that like button. And remember, if you're not subscribed to the channel, make sure you subscribe now. Turn on the bell so you don't miss any of these sneak peeks for the spring update hopefully it is coming soon remember i'm on the dev build so that means any stats you see are subject to change and yeah so keep that in mind but anyways we're going to be jumping into this next troop which is called the sneaky goblin it's inside of this barrel here let's go and take a look at what it does and what it looks like so here is the sneaky goblin just like the super barbarian it does have a special ability and what is that? Well, it will be invisible to defenses for the first five seconds that you deploy it. And again, it has the seven day duration. So if you do un end up unlocking it, it will be unlocked for seven days. You can't use the regular goblin. So keep that in mind. So what does it do? It does 190 damage per second, 320 HP, and it has 750 elixir. Training time is not going to really matter. But then the housing space. Three housing space instead of the one, which is a normal goblin. So let's go ahead and try this goblin out in a attack here. Obviously, it's just like the uh, barbarian base that I hit before. So we'll go ahead and hit it. It's, uh, it looks like it's not maxed out goblins here. But look, so they're kind of like the royal ghost here that they just will not be targeted for the first eight seconds. So let's go ahead and drop these goblins. And kind of rage them up here and they're going for the first five seconds they're going to go exactly for what the storages and they're going to make their way right for here let's see them jump straight for the town hall let's see how fast that town hall does go down and the goblins easily snipe and take it down right there and they get out of the range and they're obviously going to just run around for the first five seconds so really they're just going to target the resource structures there and it's really hard you obviously can't do an attack that is all of these goblins in a raid it just won't work but what you can do is i'll try to see some really good use cases for them maybe using them in a blimp let's go and take a look at what that possibly could be like we got an army cooked up but what really we just want to see is the sneaky goblins inside of a blimp right now right where you're going to send a blimp for a town hall Otherwise, you can use them normally as a funneling troop on the outside for, let's say, the queen or a queen walk or something like that. We're going to go do a raid. We got 15 of these goblins inside of this blimp, and let's see the type of damage it does. I have the blimp that I'm going to send in for the town hall on this base, and let's just see the value it can get. So we have some balloons. So we'll drop some balloons here to test for some Sams. And there we go. We're not going to drop a Rage. We're going to see what happens here. Remember, you got to get into the Town Hall. Otherwise, you will not be able to take it down. But look, these Goblins are going to target the Town Hall. And they are going to take it down. But obviously, what, what's going to happen? They're going to die instantly, right? And they're not going to be able to survive here. So pretty much, you just sacrifice the Blimp for the Town Hall, which can be a little bit difficult there well let's try to use and see what happens if we do a yetis and see because remember the yeti mites are not as strong anymore so let's see the difference that the yetis get a little bit more value so i've got yetis now inside of here and i'm gonna send this for the town hall let's see what happens we'll drop this and here goes the yetis we're not gonna drop a rage and see what happens will this be able to take the town hall down there we go yetis are working the town hall they are working they're working and they are getting stuck and the town hall stays up so the goblins without a rage were able to take it down while the yetis were not let's drop a rage for the yetis there all right here we go we're gonna go ahead and drop a rage now for the yetis but uh, i mean that is a big difference right there right since the uh goblins didn't need that rage at all the yeti mites are not as strong so there we go we're working on the town hall they get stuck off of it. They're distracted. Yeti mites are not okay. So the Yeti mites were able to take the town hall down under a rage spell. But that is a rage you're going to have to invest, unfortunately. All right, this next one is going to be this base. We're going to drop the blimp in here with the goblins. And we'll see how it does here with no rage spell. Here it goes. It's going to make its way through. And it's going to go ahead and open up right on top of the town hall. Town hall is going down super fast there. 
and goblins they are some of them are still alive but obviously they're just going to go around to the storages so they were able to take the town hall down there and i mean they are i mean they took the town hall down but the yetis with the yeti might difference is we might see some goblins but you have to get obviously that blimp into the town hall we'll try this again but this time we'll have a yeti inside of here right we just gotta we want to test the differences of this blimp here now with the goblins and versus uh yetis with obviously no raid spells so yetis are working their way they're gonna go on the town hall there is a king protecting the town hall and it looks like the yeti mites are struggling and they are not going to take that town hall down so it might be best to have goblins inside of there to take the town hall down all right i want to try one more thing with the yeti blimp here i know this is a video on the goblins but i want to try moving the king away from it so that the yetis would not get distracted off of the king there so if we go ahead and drop the blimp into here we did have move an expo that's right there onto the town hall but will that be enough to still be able to take the town hall down so the yetis don't get distracted there's no cc to distract them no raid spell but there's quite a bit on them and they're working on the town hall and no the town hall still doesn't go down so there was what two archer towers two expos or maybe what was that four expos could have been on them but the town hall stayed up there so you're gonna be a little bit more careful with the yeti bombs on town halls because they don't they're definitely not as strong all right let's go ahead and now try another comp in here but you saw that i filled up before with the blimp with all sneaky goblins right i had 15 of them but look at this cc what do i have in here i have only four i just wanted to prove an example here i have only four sneaky goblins let me drop the blimp for the town hall and look at this four sneaky goblins are going to come out remember once they come out they're not going to have no defense they're going to hit them and look at this four sneaky goblins four of them take that town hall down and they don't pull out the clan castle right there but four sneaky goblins was all that was necessary to take a town hall down so that can open up a huge interesting um thing i think you're going to start seeing a lot of people running sneaky goblins in these blimps if i was running a base right so i have four sneaky goblins i think the best thing to do so let me go ahead and just request some troops i'll give myself some troops here and i think if i'm going to do a lalo attack let me go ahead and give myself another sneaky goblin and like a lava hound so that's five sneaky goblins and this could add another lava hound to my army so if i hit a base i can send the blimp for the town hall the sneaky goblins can take the town hall down and a lava hound will come out then i can start a lalo with that lava hound which makes it really interesting because you only need four sneaky goblins to take a town hall down five will just take it down even quicker so this opens up a whole completely new strategy so to be honest i think what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna have my town hall 11 always kind of try to have i'll have my town 11 be using sneaky goblins so i can donate myself sneaky goblins and i'm gonna take my town hall 10 that just became dial 10 i think i might just rush it to town hall 11 just so i can donate my me sneaky goblins as well so remember it's a seven day on seven days off so if i have two accounts that can always have sneaky goblins i can always donate sneaky goblins to myself with those lower accounts so that's what i think i'm gonna do let's go ahead and do a couple attacks with this air attack with lava hounds inside of this and you guys are gonna find some amazing attack strategies i know it really soon all right let's go ahead and try to hit this base with the sui lala but this one is with the five goblins and the lava hound inside this clan castle let's go ahead and drop some balloons and pull out the cc what do we want one two three four probably to make its way into the into here to pull it out and let's see we pull out archers we pull out the two witches all right let's go drop a minion up at 12 to pull the archers and the witches only first should probably spawn some more witch yep skellies there they are go and drop a, an archer all the way at 12. we can drop a baby dragon up here go and drop an archer drop a poison kill this all skellies will come up there and they will all die drop an archer there all right let's go and drop the king here the queen we'll go ahead and use the ice golem or i mean the king can get locked down here probably drop the ice golem here pop king ability he'll run around all the way through here queen will step up 
He's gonna run all the way around. There we go. We'll go ahead and drop the Royal Champion over here. Queen ability. Freeze that. Take out the enemy Royal Champ. Working on to the single. One more shot. Royal Champ ability here. Take that down. All right, there we go. Take out the scatter. He's gonna go that way. All right, so drop a balloon. Drop the, uh, drop that there. Drop a minion down south here. So we're gonna make our way to the town hall. Drop another balloon like this. It's trying to make its way through. Archer tower goes down. And now we're gonna go and drop the Lalo around top side. We're going to come with this. We'll go and freeze. We'll go and drop a rage right on top. We'll freeze you again. Drop some minions for cleanup. Freeze you one more time. Haste. With the warden ability. Drop that balloon to distract. Okay, that didn't really distract anything. Drop some minions for cleanup. We have one more haste. Where do we need a minion to clean up here? All right, there we go. That looks to be good. Drop a minion here. And we can drop a balloon. Doesn't matter where. We'll just drop it over here at 3 o'clock. And that will get it. So we had, what, three hounds pretty much popping right on top of the queen. So the, the pups could even have uh, killed the uh, queen right there as well. So... The goblins inside that blimp helped kill off that town hall and then the hound comes out. So there's a lot of different things you can do. You don't need like 15 of those super goblins, but those yeti blimps are going to be a lot harder nowadays. And that's going to wrap up today's sneak peek of the Sneaky Goblins. If you guys want to check out the rest of the sneak peeks, make sure you guys go ahead and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any of them coming very soon. And all, like always... Make sure you hit that like button if you do enjoy today's video. And I hope you guys have a wonderful day. I'll see you guys next time. Carbon Finn, signing out. Peace.